And so when we do these sequence searches, the way that we do it is that we identify all of the stretches of a certain length of word, and we build an index of all of those in our database. And then we take our query sequence, and we, we find the words that we're looking for in our query sequence, and then we can do a rapid lookup in our index and say, what other sequences have those? Of course, when we take our query, we can actually index multiple positions And then when we look in our databases, if our database sequence only has one little kema that matches, it's probably not very good. If it has two that matches, it's probably a bit better. If it has three that matches, it's even better. In addition, we can also say, hey, you know, we've got these words that match. Why don't we take these and use these to basically seed an alignment, and then take a look at the adjacent positions and see do the adjacent positions match. So by doing this word search very fast, we can then build out of that and say, let's take a look at adjacent positions and score those. And so we'll take a look at how that actually is done as well. So the basic approach that BLAST does is we start with a little word search, or in fact a big word search, and then we extend the matches into the adjacent space. And so this algorithm is called seed and extend. The paper describing BLAST is probably, if not the most cited paper in all of bioinformatics because it's such an essential algorithm that um, everybody uses because it works so well.